Hey everybody, it's me again, Adam Chapnick, and I'm here at the Security Token New York City Meetup. And that's brought to you by who? Who do you think? The Security Token Academy. And we are here with friend of the show, the Oracle himself, Lou Kerner. Lou, thanks for being here. Adam, great to always be with you. This is awesome. Yeah, so, okay, you have a unique position in our world. You get your fingers in lots of the most exciting stuff. Can you give us a little bit of what you're most excited about right now? Sure, well, the, the whole security token movement um, is it's a tsunami, and I couldn't be more excited about it. You know, obviously everybody talks about how awesome it is to be able to raise money globally in an instant, and how awesome it is to have these private assets that are now going to be tradable and liquid. To me, though, the most exciting thing is what a security is going to be now that you have all these new technologies that are going to enable it to be anything. And so, what do you mean by that? Well, like the analogy I use is, you know, all the projects that I hear about today, you know, like there was the oil coin, which is cool, but they're just basically taking an asset as we know it and, and tokenizing it, which is interesting. But the analogy that I use is, you know, do you know what the very first thing ever broadcast uh, on television? It, it was uh, NBC broadcast. You know what it was? I don't know. It was a guy doing radio on television, basically sitting at a desk going, hey, this is Bob, now we're on television, you know. And that's what we're doing. We're, all we're doing is putting radio on television now, and we're not using smart contracts to you know, enable an infinite amount of things to be possible in securities. And I think when things are said and done in 10 or 20 years, the most value will have been created from that innovation. So in getting the smart contracts to do 10, 20, 30 things instead of zero things or one thing, is that the thing that you're looking at right now? Well, sure. I mean, if you think about just what we know today, right? So you buy a share of IBM, you, you have the ownership of IBM, you have the dividend, you have the vote. In a tokenized world, right, you can break those up. I never vote my shares, so I'll sell it to Carl Icahn. He likes to vote. Right, and now I can own these other things. And those are just so, you know, I know in one fund that's tokenizing, one of the things they're adding is the right of first refusal to invest in the next round. Right, so you can add all of these things, and the sum of the parts is always greater than the whole. So by dividing them up and break them up, you can, you know, I think you're going to have incredible arbitrage opportunities, and you're just going to have massive value creation by all of this security innovation. Amazing. So we've been walking around and asking people, do you think you know what a security token is? And so when you ask Lou Kerner, you get a deep, deep answer. Okay, so in terms of the security token space, how has it changed even just in the last, I think we spoke like three months ago. How has it changed? Sure, what's incredibly exciting is all the rails that are being built to make this possible. It's not just security token exchanges, which you know are obviously necessary, but companies like Tokensoft that we love that are really offering end-to-end -end solutions, you know, or Verify Investor, which are offering KYC AML. So we're getting all of the pieces that are needed to really have this be a vibrant ecosystem. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so you're the Oracle. Where are we going to be three, six, nine months from now? You know, well, I what I'm excited about in 2019. Okay, 19 is, is what I'm calling the flippening. And that's when the issuance of security tokens surpasses the issuance of utility tokens. And I think that's going to be a seminal moment, and I think that's we're you know, less than a year away from that. You heard it here first. Lou Kerner, thanks for joining us, as always. Great. Thanks, Adam. All right.